Hello, welcome to my channel. Here I am with another uh, video. But you see, my dirty screen. This is a. Uh, I don't know if you haven't heard about this, but this is a customer printed just like that. I just sanded all around, and this is a, a Hastings Healy door panel. Uh, I got a vinyl. The customer brought a vinyl too. I only put the headliner. I'm going to wrap it uh, with quarter of an inch headliner. So. Um, cover this side that's what it is right right there so I'm going to cover this side I sand it all around because it was too rough on the edges and that's what I'm going to show you how to wrap it this oh and right here I will put a stitch half inch inside just imagine this uh, thickness wood plus headliner quarter of an inch plus vinyl and then one stitch right here uh, you will see so first thing first, I'm going to put a padding on it. That way, uh, the vinyl doesn't go um, on the have contact with the wood. And let's put glue. Here you see this glue pad. The hose is 50 feet uh, long, so it is alone. The container is far away. And I had the other kind of cheap one, but I like to use this one. Put glue. Okay. Then I'm going to put it right here. Then I get the wood and put them exactly on top. I think it go like this. Yes. I cut everything with extra. Then I'm going to cut it all around the excess uh, headliner. Okay, then he want this hole on the padding, but he don't want it on the vinyl. So I'm using, I'm, uh, I am using a utility knife to cut. Sometimes I use the other kind of uh, razor blade. So I got uh, this already. So I'm going to uh, put the vinyl. The cut up in the vinyl. It's pretty good vinyl. You only stretch it two sides. Like most of the vinyl. Okay, I'm going to put glue all around right here enough to hold the material.
Okay, I'm going to put glue a little bit in. I'm gonna let it dry for about two minutes. Okay, let it dry for two minutes. Then <clears throat> I'm going to uh, just do it this way. One, two, three. Then I keep one, two. <clears throat> Why? Because I need to start on one side first. You can start. Either way, you can start right here or you can start right there. I'm going to start right here. When you pull it, make sure to see it. Be consistent when you pull it. Because if you pull it like this, a lot right here, and you don't pull it a lot right there, you can see there is a bubble right there. There is like a well in there, and you don't want that. So make sure to be consistent when you pull it. Okay, do it this way. I pull it, don't pull it, I am not pulling too much. Because it is one a uh, board. If I pull it too much, I will bend it. This board, and I don't want to bend it. So get that way, and I cut right here and do the same thing. I has, I see it. I has to see no wrinkle. Okay, and there it is. I got two sides. Now I am. I'm going down right here and glue it. Okay. And now I can do this side. How simple it is, right? Wrapping right this wood. And you can see the wood start turning like a twisted and I don't want that. Why is doing this? Because I am pulling too much and I don't want to pull it too much. <clears throat> so I have to undo right here. Am I gonna see? Okay, that's perfect right there. So don't pull it too much. Like this, like this. Let's see. Okay, perfect. Okay, I got it right here, then I have to do it this way. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know right here how it looks. Okay, I have to undone right here too. Okay, now it is time to do the corner. To do the corner right here, there are a lot of ways that you can do it. One way is doing it this way, just make a cut, and then like that, you leave this in there. And on that corner, that is perfect. And right here, You can make it this way, okay? Right here, same thing. We glue it, then we make this cut, and then like this. Then this one, same thing.
what I have right here is a heat gun. Just throw like a hot air, just to uh, burn those, this corner. Right here, same thing right here. And right here, just put a hot, make it hot. And then, I will put a little bit of this right there. Right there, a little bit. And it's going down right here. Okay, then I just cut it like this and do it that way. <clears throat> okay, got it. So now I'm going to work on this area. I'm going to cut it like one inch away from that wood. You can do it this way. You can get a chalk, you can get a marker and mark it like this, all around, one inch, like that. Like that. But a lot of people have been working on this way for a long time ago. It's not necessary to do this. And you can do it this way, like one inch, inch and a quarter, and then you cut. Then um, you're going to make some split right here, but keep on mind if it, the wood is a quarter of an inch like this one on one A, it has to be like when you cut a quarter of an inch away from that from that wood. Okay? Don't cut it all the way because when you pull it, that wood might be exposed. And you don't want that wood to be exposed on outside. Okay, just keep on mind that. Same thing right here, I made those cuts, but are not all the way through the wood, no. Just like a quarter of an inch before that wood. And right here, I make a lot of cut too. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> oh, one more right here. Okay. I can do it this way, pull it, like that, like that. Same thing right here, pull it and glue it. Okay? Same thing right here. Not big deal, huh? You can see it is very easy to do it. A lot of people think of this think of this might be hard, but it's not. It's not hard. Okay? They got this for corner, I'm not corner, but then I just <clears throat> do it this way. If it, this wood, it doesn't have a pattern, tone, nothing at all, I can do everything like this, like this, without watching here. Like, because it has, I, have, I do it this way, because I want the pull to be consistent. Okay? right here nice and then right here this is perfect okay <clears throat> I got this I had to put a, a, a stitch right here the machine that I would use it is a 226 console. 226 console, needle 24. If I use the needle 20, 20 or 21 or 22 on this thickness, it's not gonna work, it will break. So I would use the needle 24 right here, just half inch like that. And using this marker, Silver Fisher Ink. You can use it on vinyl, or you can use it on leather, and you can remove the ink or the mark with a uh, heavy duty degreaser or with gasoline with lacquer thinner. I don't recommend you to use lacquer thinner because you might damage the material. 
with salt, you can remove it. Okay, set it like this. Half inch. You see my finger as a guide. Any mistake with that, with that stick that you put them on top, you will ruin it, everything. So make sure to put a nice stitch on top of that mark. And that's what I will do right, right now. So guys, keep on mind, any mistake right here, you will ruin it. So uh, your machine has to be good to oil, put the length of the stitch, don't make that stitch, uh, the length of the stitch too small because if you make it too small uh, it might break this piece it might you might cut the wood so that is the biggest stitch on this machine is the number five the bigger one number five the smaller one is number 20 24 the smallest one so I am putting on the number eight. Just figure out number eight. If it's the bigger one, is number five. The smallest is 24. I am having right now on number eight. Not the biggest one, not the middle one. <clears throat> okay, let's do it. Slow, slow, we're going to start slow. Especially with those corners, you have to go so slow. Because it's thickness, one eight wood plus highliner, plus binder, plus the binder four. So, okay. <clears throat> Get it? Slow, 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 slow. Slow. Needle number 24. The shred is B95, uh, B92 Sangar. That is the <laughs> Slow right here on the corner, slow. Take the Do a knife. Oh, I have to move the camera. <clears throat> okay. Going slow. The camera is okay. Get. I can tell you the way how the machine sound right here. Console 226, needle number 24. Okay? Can be either one. Diamond tips, the needle, or regular tips. Now I just remove it, that's it, and I have to make a bring this thread from right here and make a knot right here. Okay. The customer brought this piece of wood like that. Um, he brought the vinyl. And I just add the phone, the glue, thread, and let me cut it right there. Because I don't like the way I look right here, I will cut it to make it nice. Okay, I'm just going to show you what I start doing. 
it's going to cut it right here because I don't like you see <clears throat> right here it doesn't show but I don't like it I prefer cutting you see that you till the night that way it look like a more professional okay I just remove this exit Just be careful not to touch the thread. Okay. <clears throat> this is this door belongs to the Aston Healy. Aston Healy is a, a small car. But it's so beautiful, I like it. And there are uh, three different door panels for a Aston Healy. Two different. This is one of them. <clears throat> I would say this is the easy one because it's go like this. Then go with the screw. Then on the other side, you go another piece of uh, board, same color, but that one go attached to the metal of the car on this side. And here it is. It's done. You can see. You can see it right there. There's the stitch. You can see the stitch. It's kind of, <clears throat> your machine has to be strong to put that stitch because you are sewing it to the wood and material. So there it is, it's done. Let's show you the others. Oh, I have to put some staple right here. I'm going to put some staple right there. quarter of an inch staple, it doesn't go through it. And I will do that on all those corners, those four corners. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. If that was the case, don't forget, that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you soon in the next, in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.